So as you can see by this video, I've been using the Stevens DB with slug ammo recently. Uh, unlike my other videos where I talk about how weapon stats are better than alternatives, I'm not going to do that as much this time. I see this as a fun weapon that offers variety compared to other low velocity, quote, snipers, unquote. What I'm trying to say is, if you want an effective weapon, the DB with slugs is not quite as good as some other weapons I've made videos about in the past. The DB with slugs is great for mid-range torso kills as well as follow-up shots when using it at long range. Unlike most people that snipe with the DB, I personally rarely use the burst mode and opted to stay in semi-auto for a few reasons. At mid to close range, the gun will kill with one shot, and using both barrels is a waste of ammo. It also makes you vulnerable since you have an empty weapon. The burst fire mode isn't fully accurate, and sometimes you might end up getting a hit without getting a kill since both projectiles fail to land. Most of the time, I either got a headshot kill or an assist kill when sniping with one barrel at a time, which probably resulted in more kills overall than if I were to use burst. So you might be confused a little bit by my optic choice. Uh, the reason why I chose the PSO was because it has a 4x magnification compared to the uh, PU 6x, I think it is, and uh, also other optics in the double barrel look terrible. I don't understand why they decided to do that, but for some reason, when you equip most optics on the DB, it puts like this weird Picatinny rail thing at the center of the barrel, which in my opinion, I, I hate the way it looks, and um, it also makes the aiming feel really weird, because your point of aim is like, just strange. So yeah, that's why I use the PSO. Um, the PU isn't a bad option, I just didn't need the magnification, and I also like the ability to switch back to uh, a regular optic. Alright, that's it. Bye. Get out of here.